Hello guys, my name is Tim Damoni Andrew and I'm a data analyst for UBSearch. So for today's section, we'll be creating a personal progress report using the Excel checkbox. So as you can see at the left hand side, these are my weekly tasks I do for my company, which is a data analyst company. So you can see the first text says social media, training, webinar, content, webinar moderation, YouTube video, and also consultation. So basically I'm trying to like check my progress by the week in my company. So I create, I, what I do first, I go to a new sheet. I come to my developer tab. If you have a developer tab highlighted or activated, you just come to your home, you right click, go to customize ribbon, you go to come here, you come to your developer. You can see my developer tab is already highlighted, so I don't need to do it again. So I just cancel. So the first step, first thing I do, I go to my develop my insert, I click on my checkbox, I create a checkbox over here. So I'm going to rename this. We'll call it training. Training. So, you can see I can click on it, I can unclick on it. So, let me just click on it. So, I over over it and I right click. I go to format control. You can see the cell link over here. I click on the cell link. I select cell C2. I drop down. You can see here now, you can see the value over here, so it should uncheck, check the mix. But currently now, this is checked, so that's why it's also showing check over here. Press the OK, so you can see it's showing true. If I over it, I click here, false, true, false, true. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy the same thing down. Okay, that's nice, so... I've copied the same checklist. So if I click here, because everything is still connected, so I have to remove the connections from everything one after the other. So what I do first is this C2. So yes, I just come to the other one. I change this one here to three. Come here. Change this one here to four. I'm going to follow the video right here so you can you guys can just move along. So now after I've done that, I have to rename all the checkbox now. So I'll move forward this so we can just move along. So we're done with that now. So, so I have to fold that part of the video. So the next step, what I want to plan doing now, let me check if they're all deselected now. You can see they're no longer connected to each other again. So I can delete this over here. I don't need this anymore. I just use it to know what's the exact cells to pick. So the next step, let me do a conditional formatting here. I come to home. Conditional formatting, allies cell rules, rules that is equals to, it says if it's equals to true, then I want it to be green. It's conditional formatting again. If it's equals to false, it wants to be red, so that's nice. So I'm just come here, I'll put true, I'll put false also here, I'll put total. Put progress, progress. So I'll do a count if here. Count if range. If it is true, right? Close bracket answer. So I don't know count if. Count if the range. If it is false. My bracket, put my total. Total should always be the sum between these two. And the progress should be so the progress will be the true as the total number of true divided by the total overall total. So this should be in percentage, percentage sign. So next, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna create a chart for this. So I say I create a chart between progress and the percentage progress. So I press Alt F1. I change the type, the chart type to a bar chart. It's preferable to use a bar chart. So I created a bar chart for this. The axis value I'll change is also. I'll make it a maximum of one. One actually stands for hundred, and the minimum of zero. That's nice. I will change 
the gap width or make it 400 400 is preferable nice let me change the color here so let me change color to solid fill mm, let me make it something light okay let me try something decor and the hexes let me change the color also something light so this so let's make it just for my text for my is white here yeah. so I'm using white over here let me activate the data label data label let me make it also white this white okay I think it's becoming nice let me see wow 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 so you can see now it's more dynamic itself it's better now it's more dynamic so you can see now the work is more dynamic itself now it's more dynamic so whenever i, I light click on the checkboard it becomes false and the percentage over here also drop so i hope you guys have learned a lot this video is brought to you by your busy have fun guys. Bye.